someone died. I hope them, Tom. Nope, they're gone. Too bad. It's gonna help them in everything. Too Ugh. bad. So Ugh. Ugh. So what are you up to right now? All right, so we're in the EDZ. The EDZ is the European dead zone. Because as we all know, Europe is dead. And in the EDZ, we're meeting up with a guy named Devrim K. Because he helps uh, Hawthorne. Yes. Okay. Through some shit. And he is very British. A guest. Here I have no tea to serve. These are dire times indeed. Devrim K, the eighth, at your service. City militia. Back when there was a city. Now I serve at the pleasure of my dear friend Soraya Hawthorne. First on the docket, contact other refugees and tell them of the farm. That means building a comm network from the ground up. And even though I happen to be a damn good shot, the Fallen are giving me a devil of a time. I dare say you can handle a few rounds with the enemy. I've seen what Guardians can do. Right. I think it's time to let the guns do the talking So do you get your, Don't like, you? Guardian powers back pretty early in the game? Uh, we are actually going to get them right now. So, okay. uh, I, no, we just got them yeah, back. Yeah, you just got, she should mention, yeah. don't get cocky now that you have your powers back. Uh, the gun that he's wielding right now is also an exotic, known as No Land Beyond. Uh, hmm. and it is silly. Okay. Yep. Uh, basically what No Land Beyond allows you to do is it allows you to use a sniper rifle in the place of your primary slot. Oh. Yeah. And it hits like truck. But people who like sniper rifles do it like that. Uh, it doesn't have a sniper scope on it. Oh, That's really? The only thing, yeah. Okay, interesting. So this is an adventure. Uh, adventures are kind of like patrols, but with better loot. What's a patrol? Uh, a patrol is kind of where you go run around, and you do small like little tasks, like oh, go here and scan this stuff. It's like a bounty in Diablo. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, an adventure is kind of like a quest. Okay. This is a fallen house sigil. I don't recognize it, though. Nor I. The fallen seem to have put this up as something of a threat. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there with a bit of a story to them. You done talking? You both need some supplies nope. to get going out here. See if you find a cache in one of the buildings nearby. Are the quests repeatable? Like Whoa! Why are you glowing? I don't know. He's cool. How dare you duck and wave like that? So good. So good. How can him be so good at fighting you? Uh, it's so good and well it's done. frustrating. To survive, we'll have to look for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wilds. Speaking of the wilds, there's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. Oh, there it is. This is those uh, that one group, right? Yeah, the Lost Sectors. Yeah. These are what lost Debra, sector symbols mean. Where did this symbol come from? I believe your city hunters must have put them here and there about the region as they scouted around. I think they meant it to mark something special. Or dangerous. Or both. Let's go check it out. Something especially dangerous? Yep. Enter the tunnel. The history of this region is fascinating. I believe tunnels and caves like the one you're in now stretch all across the EDZ. Who knows what's lurking down there? Be careful. Where in Europe does this game take place? Uh, Germany. Okay. Yep. Alright, who the hell is shooting at me? Oh, Tom. You and your fun, like, reckless abandoned play style. What? Achtung! Hey, hey, hey. I think it said something about getting mulch to death. Maybe. What's wrong with my reckless abandon? You got refuge style? boots. Refugi? Refuge boots. I don't know, I just get this feeling that uh, while I'm excited for it, raiding with you is going to be very frustrating. No. I mean, it's I've raided with you in the past and wow, and that was frustrating. I don't think you understand how good I am at this game. I mean, I've watched you play. I yeah. How much damage you take. Yeah, and you see how much damage I put out. And as the person who's going to be playing our Titan, uh -huh. whose job it is to make sure that you're not taking the damage. 
I'm gonna be very frustrated with you. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be the one saving you. Maybe. How we'll about see. that? Did you ever think that was a possibility? Hey man, if we're getting through the raid, and we're getting fat loots, then I'm okay with whatever the outcome is. How dare you run away like that, you fat coward. He's not really that fat. Yeah, he is. Oh, he look. is pretty hot and tempting, dude. Oh, oh, it's for the... For the yeah, the pff of that. Like Steven. Yeah, like Steven. Which makes no sense to me. Because well, some people are like, it's, it's Steven, but spelled with a PH. Because I'm special. Yeah. I'm different. And, well, because some people have the PH instead of the V. Uh huh. And so people are like, alright, I guess, whatever, it's weird. Steven. And then they put the PH in front. Alright, let's see, where is he? He's chilling over there. With his buddy. So you know what that means. Melee him? No, it's all the melee him. Fuck off! Look at me. I'm a Jurdai. Yeah! Jurdai! Or monk. Yeah, but it makes. It's like a Jurdai monk. Jurdai monk? Ooh. Makeshift suits. Ah, look at that. Testing gloves. But that's for another day. Of course, meantime, always need them. We'll say we get down to level? Yep. So this is a uh, different. I, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. But, okay. Um. So as you play, you level up, and as you level up, you unlock talent points. Upgrade points, as they call it. Okay. And you can just plop them in anything you want. And basically, you just upgrade your jumps and whatnot, even though this, like, the way they have this set up is that, uh, it's, they're, they're tiering you. Right. For the first level. And then you get to unlock the cool stuff. Right. Okay. Which is, like, combat meditation, stuff like that, and it's it super looks like, awesome. Looks like most of them are, like, zero out of one. So yeah. you just put one point and you unlock it? Yeah. You oh, just okay. unlock it after one point and <laughs> then after that it's just go have fun. Yes, give me my scout rifle. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, this character's only level three? Yeah. Wow. Like this is this is brand brand spanking new. Wow. Fresh off the boat. Yeah. Wow. 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 I'm Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. Yep. So you you unlock your things and you do your stuff and you're like ah oh, Devin K I love you so much because you give me all the fat loots. Mm. Welcome back. Do you actually this love time him? I did make tea for you, but I seem to have drunk it all. Perhaps if you were a mite quicker. Can you shake your hand right, faster so it's can. audible for our we audience? With a we we want at least the one person watching us to hear it. The last relay on the Thanks, Tom. The we'll say her that, because my hand hurts now. Yeah. <laughs> Mission of Joctiv. We get to go to Fish's house! Yay! Hmm. Only one person will understand that joke. Only one person. Yeah, all right. Fish's house. All right. So, yeah, this is kind of what you do. You run around, you get to check out the new stuff. And, uh, let's see. I need a mark where I need to go. Because otherwise I will forget. Ah, there you go. The red war. The war that is ever so red. How, how like, big is the zone? Like, if you were to run from one side to the other... How long do you think it would take you? Ten minutes. Wow, really? So from here? Yeah. All the way up to here. Oh shit, that's way bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, this is a huge area. Maybe not ten minutes, maybe like uh, five maybe. Yeah. Like, But it's a good size map. Okay. Yeah. And the nice thing too that I found out... So if you're partied... So like if you and I are partied up together and you're like, Oh, I'm gonna go and... Um, check out this public event. I could be like, cool, I'm gonna go and check out this public event, and we can stay in the same party mm -hmm. and transmat to different locations 
but still be same uh, in the same party doing things. That's cool. So that way we don't need to do that. So like, you can join my party, and then I'll be like, hey, I'm finishing off a quest right now, and you're like, oh, there's a public event. I'm gonna go do that real quick. I'll be like, okay, cool. We'll meet up afterwards. And so you could yeah. be doing that while I'm running Still around. And if I get done fast right. enough, like I can come over and join you at the same time. Nice. Yeah. It is, it is very nice the way they work this all out. Finally, he admits he's old. Bail me out on one assault charge and you never let me live it down. Ugh. Don't you mean one a week? You're the reason my hair is gray. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, old man. We're in salt mines. I told you we were going to Fish's <laughs> house. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everything down here is salt. <laughs> the, the walls, walls are, are salt. salt. The floors <laughs> are salt. Even the air is salt. You breathe, it's just salt. Hi. What? Oh. Hi. Hey. Hello. Those are you done? make a weird squishy sound. I assume that's supposed to be the sound of them, like, piercing your flesh. Um, they also have, like, lasery knives, too. Ooh. Laser knives. Lasers. Why do they, like, explode into gas when they die? So, I have an interesting theory about that. Okay. Uh, I don't know that's if... never been... It hasn't been explained yet? Uh, yeah, so it's either ether, or they're also creatures of light, because some of them that you destroy... When you hit them, you see their bodies escaping. You see the light body escaping them. Right. So I kind of wonder that maybe they're like actual creatures of light, and what they're trying to do is get back the traveler because they want the light again. Right. And because you're like, nope, we're using it. That's why they're at a war with you. Okay. Let's get in that elevator. Or not. That seems safe. Yeah. We'll have to find another way up to Hawthorne. Alright. Well, maybe this way will work. Careful. The fallen are scavengers of the highest order. They're going to put up a fight for whatever they can get their grubby claws on. So, um, I know in Destiny One there was like exotic I think there are head there considered heavy weapons uh -huh. that were um, melee weapons. Yes. Are those back? Yes, they are. Can you get them? Yes, you can. Uh, they are exotic and legendary. I had to just shut my laptop because I didn't want it to make any more noise. What's a, what's the difference between a legendary and an exotic? Uh, so legendaries are purples. Exotics are yellows. Oh, Exotics, okay. you can only equip one of each type. Right. So if you have a weapon that's an exotic, you can only have one. Okay. If you have an armor piece, you can only have that armor piece. So exotic is a higher tier than legendary. Exactly. So okay. Interesting. There's also an interesting thing that they've done recently. Um, back in the day, they had creatures that had shields. Right. The shields, if I can let myself freaking oh. load, had different colors. So like that one's blue. Right. Now, when you blow them up, if you use the correct color, it actually causes like a feedback effect. Oh, that's neat. And it deals them small amounts of damage. Oh, that's cool. So like rewards you for for playing correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's really cool. Like as you saw as I popped him with right. my blue sh my blue gun, he kind of exploded and it detonated all those barrels. Is the the blue arc damage? Yep. Oh shit. So blue is arc, purple is void and the red is solar. There's no respawning in the salt mines. Nope. Once you die, it's the to... end of it. You got a dead zone rifle. Power weapon. But I already have one. But is it a better one? I don't know. Is it? But Metal Gear shoots nukes. No. Metal Gear. Oh, how do we get down? Oh, here we go. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. The Lolly Lule Low. The Patriots. How many organizations are in Metal Gear now that I think about it? Uh, probably at least 12. 12? 12. 
I, li I don't like 12. That's too no. many. Too many? Yeah, that's like five, four. Oh, Jesus. Too many? I like how that guy just accepted his fate. He's like, well, <laughs> this is the rest of my life. <laughs> what little there is left. Tell my oh, wife I love her. Oh, no. No. No, no. Oh, no. There goes Tokyo. Oh, oh. Son of a bitch. I jumped too soon. Too soon. Forget it. Just get rid of these assholes. Later. Later. Ah, you'll be pleased to know that I, I wonder. Oh no! Fleeing the mine. Yes. So I wonder. Uh, once this is on PC. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, once this is on PC, if uh, you'll be able to get mods for the game. So like, that'd be really neat. From what I've heard. Um, they're not going to be doing modding, but okay. I could always be wrong. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of one of those, like, it may not support it right out the gate. Yeah. But maybe it's something they do eventually. Because I feel like some mods create an unfair advantage. Well, and that's the thing. Like, you have to... You got to take your, your lumps where it is. Because, right. like, if you're going to be a pleb and you're going to play on the consoles, then you kind of deserve that. Damn. Tell it how it is, Tom. Uh, I don't like consoles. Like, I really don't. We yeah, here we are. It's harder to aim. It's harder to play. Uh, you know. There's 12-year-olds. And nobody wants to play with a 12-year-old. Elevator's well, not working. think about that? Well, then they can play on the console and be bad. And yeah. we've upset the ball. Because that's just how it is. Oh, I hate those guys. Uh, the little... The, the, from, the, from what little I played in the first game... Needed those guys. Servitors are a pain in the ass. They are indeed. They're also dumb as bricks. Um. What was I saying? Uh, words? There were definitely words involved, but now I don't know what they were. What were we talking about? Uh, mods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking, like, it'd be kind of cool because, like, you know, mods give you some interesting custom customization and stuff like that. Like, it's interesting because you have. Like, there's an interesting range of potential mods for this game, right? Uh-huh. Like, there's kind of like the Fallout mods, slash the Skyrim mods, where you can kind of like change some of the aesthetics of the game. Which I can see them like not wanting that. Yeah. Um, and then there's also the like deadly, like, like what would the raids be like okay. if they had deadly boss mods? If there was DBM, that would be the best mod. Right. But like how, like, the question becomes like, how does that affect their raid design. Yeah. Like, you can kind of tell that while raid design has changed over the years because of things like deadly boss mods, um, and what's interesting is, like, development time on the WoW team, like, part of it spent creating basically in-game versions of the mods to kind of lower the player's requirements on third-party mods. Yeah, like, uh, I remember when we first started raiding, uh, one of the necessities was uh omen yeah you had to have omen you could not like if you didn't have it when you went to a raid you were just not like they were like stop what you're doing right now download omen download omen and then you can come back yeah and and that sucked like if you were a new player and this that kid he's just like sitting there like hey he's just he wants to get the inevitable over he's like you smell that how many sniper rifles do you have tom uh, at least two Jesus, man. Why do you have so many sniper rifles? Because the game is bugged out right now. I bugged out the game, actually. I'm, wait, what? I bugged out the game. How? What did you bug out? He's just sitting there. Now he suddenly moved to the right. And he has full health again. Womp, 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 womp. His health is regenerating. If he is an asshole. Oh, God! Ow. Jesus. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I bugged out the game, but I did it. I did it, everyone! Woo! Oh, we did it, team. Wow, I really did break the world, actually. Oh my god, they're like diving all over the place. What is happening, Tom? Uh, either somebody is downloading a lot of porn right now, or... Uh... I stumbled out an edge case. Where... The world just doesn't want to work. Uh, you didn't actually explain why you have two sniper uh, well, one of them is a scout rifle, which is just a more precise, uh, 
It's a it's a DRM, so I can use it in either way, and I like snipe. I like scout rifles the best. DRM. Uh, designated uh, marksman. Uh, DMR. Uh, designated marksman's rifle. Oh, okay. So it's just like a very highly precise assault rifle. Okay. That fires one shot at a time. Gotcha. Um, and scout rifles are the best. Just no question about it. Because they allow you to deal large amounts of damage and be precise about it. And you can engage the enemy from long distances. Are you trying to tell me that they are objectively the best? Uh, in my opinion. Okay. Because, look at that. So fucking good. Peace. Oh, wait, you didn't die. I was gonna mock you. Jesus. Yeah. See? That's why That's why you don't, uh, you don't emote. Yeah, except look at that. Can't even shoot me. Okay, you got me. This reminds me of, like, all those Overwatch videos where someone, like, wipes a team and then starts emoting. And then the person comes flying in and rests everyone. And then you just, just pause and you just... At this moment, he knew <laughs> he, he fucked, had up. fucked up. Yeah. Hey, move. Come on. There we go. Uh, I I, I do best with a scout rifle, but okay. that's because you know, console control suck at aiming. Yeah. Um, when I was playing in the beta, uh, hand cannon was freaking awesome oh yeah yeah because hand cannons pack a punch but they're short range and they're also hard to aim but when you have a you know keyboard and mouse right it's like a cakewalk later buddy <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna get you oh no i feel no, i'm stop oh, I'm, I'm so dumb look at those shanks look at them Why? <laughs> <laughs> it got caught by the the collision of the the elevator as it was moving up it's trying to move in, and it's like, oh, I can't do it. We'll get you. You go get it. Go get. It. Oh god, I got killed. Oh no. Stupid Shank. But yeah, Is their name really Shanks. Yep, they are called Shanks. Well, then. for the whole like maybe two hours that I actually All played at Destiny the One, uh -huh. I totally thought their name was Sharks. Um, I I can see that. And so I like I just kept thinking that they're named sharks the whole time. Like these are sharks. Uh, they were skanks in my game. Skanks. And they're filthy little skanks. Yeah, that's what they are. Wearing like really revealing metal plating. Yeah. And then they were like floating around and they Who's wouldn't this? leave you alone. Who's this person? This is Hawthorne. This is where the backpack comes from. Which one's Hawthorne? Is this uh, Anna? Uh. Yes. This is young Anna. Which is funny, because Hawthorne is like young Anna, and then later on you run into old Farrah. Yeah. Looks like Lewis owes me money. You're an Awoken, right. huh? Yep. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure what race I want to play. Manual, um, right? So in the original game, I had an Exo Hunter. An mm -hmm. incoming beacon. And I loved it. Guardians, the city is lost. If there is any light left in the system, we rally on Titan. Be brave. Oh, Zavala. Guardians. Zavala's alive. If we leave now, we... You are not going to Titan. We've got refugees coming in. The Red Legion on one side, the Fallen on the other. But we have our powers back. And if we're going to retake the city... Your city is gone. That's a good point. Yes, yeah, she does. We will be back, and we won't be alone. You'll know where to find me. Oh, she's mad. Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you, Guardian? You have to go back to your old boyfriend? Damn. Why can't you stay with me? I thought we had something. I'm sorry, Hawthorne. You were just a phase. Boom! As the light turns. <laughs> I want to watch that show. <laughs> Do we find out anything new about the Traveler? It would Quite a bit, actually. A okay. What about the speaker? He's right here? Well, I know, but, like, do we find out any secrets? So uh, I saw one yes? spoiler that I'm actually kind of bummed, because I'm trying to avoid as much as I can. Is it is it the, I don't something something, but I say I do? No. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I know that you do go toe to toe with him. Put him down. Oh yeah, but the question is, is like, is he actually dead, uh, or is he actually getting the power of the the call it? Does that allow him to do the stuff? Lives in all places. Oh, Bill Nighy, I love you. You can block it, even try to trap it, but the light will find its way. That looks like. That looks really uncomfortable. I mean, it's torture, so. Itself. You don't want them to be comfortable. Yeah. It's like, hey, look, Steve, I want you to give me the codes to the nuclear launch. But do you want to refill on your tea real fast? <laughs> Can I get you a pillow? Blanket? Anything? Is the Traveler like the Lich King? Traveler um. You are nothing like the Traveler. Nothing. No? You think okay. you have power. Control. I, I would say that the, the Traveler is more like the Nauru. Okay. Where they came and they brought the light. Right. Yeah. So he's a big wind chime? Yep, he's a big wind chime. Holy shit, he is a big wind chime. I don't think that's how that works, Gull. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't think you can force a person to choose you. Yeah, I guess that it kind of goes against the whole idea of choosing. Yeah. Well, maybe I think more of it's a scenario of like, I'm going to present you two options. One is so cataclysmically bad that you cannot choose this option. Uh -huh. So you're going to take, take the other one. And the other one is choosing me to be infused with the light. Yes, but isn't that also kind of like forcing a person? I mean, they could choose. They could still choose not to do it. That's true. They could. But. But it would probably be a bad idea. Yeah. Because he could be like, look, I'm either going to destroy this entire system and kill all of humanity. Or, or you're going to choose me to be the inheritor of the light. You can either choose your entire family to die, or you can be my boyfriend. Right. Your choice. Yeah. It's still a choice. You could be like, nah, it's not going to happen, and then just yeah, leave. Yeah, just, just let, take, take the family, go ahead, yeah. I don't care. I don't really like them that much anyways. Yeah, they're, they're, they're real holding my down. Okay. All right. Next episode, we go to Titan. Hooray! Zavala! The Red War! After we get a level. Bye, right. everyone. Bye!